Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. In today's recipe, I am going to be showing you guys how to make the best ever shrimp loaded baked potatoes, so delicious. But before we begin, take a second to subscribe if you're new here. Also, if you enjoyed today's recipe, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let's get started. All right, family, here are the ingredients. I will leave the measurement below for you guys, so please check that out. I am using three russet potatoes. Make sure they're nice and clean and make sure you pick the big potatoes. Also, we have some chicken broth here, as well as some bacon bits. I pre-cooked these because I didn't wanna make the video too long. And I have some heavy cream here as well. Also to season, we have some, we have Old Bay seasoning. We have some chives. And we also have some Creole seasoning as well as some dry parsley and a little bit of lemon pepper. And here we have some sour cream, as well as some garlic. I am using fresh garlic for this recipe. Also, we have some butter. And today's cheese of choice, I am using Colby Jack cheese. However, you can use whatever cheese that you like, okay? And we have some large shrimp they're nice and clean and deveined okay shall we begin first thing first i am going to drizzle a little bit of oil to my potatoes that way when they come out they're not too wrinkly you know how it looks when you bake potatoes but once you're done drizzling your oil on there grab a fork and start pricking some holes that way it doesn't just pop in the oven okay once you are done you are going to grab yourself some sea salt and drizzle some sea salt all over the potatoes next you're going to take some foil and wrap it up in foil it will cook even faster you're going to bake it on 400 for about 40 to 60 minutes okay 40 to 60 while my potatoes are baking, I am moving on to the shrimp. I am going to drizzle about half a tablespoon of oil on there. Then you are going to season. I'm using half a teaspoon of the lemon pepper, half teaspoon of the Old Bay, half teaspoon of the Creole seasoning, half teaspoon of the dry parsley, and give that a mix just like that. And I ended up adding some paprika for a nice, beautiful color. Now it's ready to be cooked. I am going to grab a skillet, add some oil, about two to three tablespoons of oil. Once it's nice and hot, you're going to place your shrimp right in there. Now you don't have to cook your shrimp fully because you don't want to overcook the shrimp. Once I notice the tail of the shrimp is turning or changing color, I flip it over. Now I'm going to cook it for about two minutes her sides once they're done cooking you are going to remove them set them aside to the sim skillet I went ahead and add one tablespoon of butter once melted I am going in with my garlic we're going to cook the garlic until fragrance. Once it's nice and turning or changing golden brown, you are going to add half a cup of chicken broth in there just to deglaze the bottom of the pan a little bit. Then you are going to add your heavy cream. You are going to make this nice and creamy, of course. Now to season, I use the exact seasoning that I seasoned the shrimp with and now I am going to add in my cheese 
Once that is nice and melted, I am going to be adding some baking bits. And I also went ahead and add some more cheese. <laughs> and also I am going to be adding a little bit of the chives, the fr fresh chives, okay? Give that a stir, allow it to simmer for a little bit, and at this point, your sauce is basically done. Now, my potatoes are nice and ready. Ooh, they were so hot. So I am going to remove them from the foil. So here's the trick. I'm not sure if you guys have done this before. If I need two servings of potatoes, of the baked potatoes, I like to bake three. So what I did, I used that extra one. I used the inside completely for the stuffing of the two. So I removed the, the flesh of the potatoes on both, like you see here. And the other whole potatoes, I cut it, I peel it, and I add it to this bowl here as well. So I can have a lot of potato flesh, if you know what I'm saying. So to this potato flesh, I went ahead and add butter, sour cream, cheese, and I went ahead and add some bacon bits in there as well. And you are going to stir this together until you have something like this. Next, you're going to grab your potatoes, the sauce that you made, pour some at the bottom layer of the potatoes, and then you are going to take the flesh of the potatoes that you just mixed together. You're going to stuff it in the whole potato. Make sure you really stuff it in there. Now I'm going to take the sauce that I made. I am going to drizzle a good amount of the sauce on top of my potatoes. And also take your shrimp, that delicious shrimp, just place it on top just like that. And you are going to take your bacon bits. Ooh, take your bacon bits or cheese before the bacon bits. You're going to add the cheese, the bacon bits, and as well as your chive. Let me do it again so you guys can see it. Ooh, these looks bomb. That's what I'm talking about. Now you're going to bake these for about 10 to 15 minutes just to melt the cheese a bit and as well as the shrimp to cook it a bit more. And basically guys, this is your final result. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed today's recipe. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if it was helpful, if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to subscribe here if you know I upload new videos here at least three times a week. I give you guys ideas on what to cook for your family. So please be sure to subscribe and I will see you guys on the next recipe. Bye guys.